Hello, um, we've had a quick video where we looked at the various parts and the notes of the strings on an acoustic guitar. Um, the notes of the strings on this electric guitar are the same, but I just wanted to go through the uh, parts and the construction of this instrument. So, it's plugged in to a lead. This lead goes over there to an amplifier. Um, a black box with a speaker and some valves that power the sound. Um, there's a volume control here. If I turn that volume control to zero, no sound's coming through the amplifier. If I turn it up... I'm impacting on the volume of the sound coming out of the amplifier. Um, that's um, one big difference with an electric guitar, is the fact we need this lead and some sort of speaker, amplifier, to get the sound out to the uh, the listener, whether that's yourself or 50,000 people at Wembley. Um, the parts of the kind of guitar are largely similar. Uh, we've got a body, we've got a neck, we've got the headstock, we've got the tuners. This is a Fender Stratocaster, so on this guitar um, all six tuners are on the same side uh, of the headstock. You may have heard of a Gibson Les Paul. Um, on that guitar you have three tuners on one side of the headstock, three on the other. Um, that's a little uh, digression there. Um, we've got some frets going up the neck. Uh, which, like on the acoustic guitar, change the pitch of the note the further that way I go, the higher the note gets. Um, we've got a nut, like on our acoustic guitar, and um, we've got a bridge, like on our acoustic guitar, but we don't have pegs on the electric guitar. On my guitar, my Stratocaster, the strings go through the back of the body, come out through the bridge, over the bridge saddles, up over the nuts, Tied round the uh, sort of string post, stretched round, tightened um, to be a pitch. We've got the same notes of strings. Six strings, we've got E, A, D, G, B, E, if we're in standard tuning. On the video uh, where I speak about acoustic guitar, we go through the tuning of those notes and we use the mnemonic Elephants and Donkeys Grow Big Ears for E, A, D, G, B, E. Uh, hopefully you've got that memorised from that. Um, we have pickups, magnets with loads of wire wrapped around them. At the moment, my pickup selector, this switch, is on what we call the neck pickup. Now, you can probably guess that that's called the neck pickup because it's right by the neck of the guitar. If I go to the bridge pickup, the one nearest the bridge of the guitar. The quality and the tone of the note changes a little bit. That's neck. This is bridge. Bridge. Neck. There's a subtle difference in tone. Sometimes not too subtle, depending on kind of the construction of the pickups and the uh, design of the guitar and things like that. But uh, Stratocaster has three pickups and the pickup selector controls. I'm not going to go through the configuration because it's kind of dependent on the type of guitar you've got. Gibson Les Paul has a pickup selector switch there and usually two humbuckers and kind of different configuration of volume and tone knobs. But uh, I mentioned tone knobs. Um, if I stay on my neck pickup, I've got the tone rolled all the way down there and I roll it in and the sound gets brighter. So I've got two tone controls here. There's lots of configurations of wiring. I'm digressing wildly. So I'm gonna talk again just about the basics of an electric guitar construction. Body, neck, with frets and six strings. The nuts, the headstock, the tuners, string posts, pickups, pickup selector, volume and tone controls, yeah? I think that's it. Enjoy, get that stuff learned. <clears throat>